Welcome to Bloxy's Hitter Builder. In this video, we are going to show you how easy it is to construct your own hitter with our super intuitive hitter builder, and this all in Bloxy Free. You can access the hitter builder from the customizer. Go to Appearance, Customize, and from within the navigation menu, on the left, select Hitter. Alternatively, you can access the builder directly from within the Bloxy dashboard once you've installed the Bloxy companion. From the WordPress admin panel, click the Bloxy panel. This takes you to the Bloxy dashboard where you have a number of options such as extensions and demo install. We are interested in this area under the Home tab, in particular, header options. Click on Go to option and like before, you'll go to the header builder in the customizer. This way, no need to hunt around for the right option, simply access it directly from the Bloxy dashboard. Note that if you didn't see the Bloxy label within the WordPress sidebar menu, you need to download and install the Bloxy companion. Let's look at the builder interface first. You'll see three rows here, which we call top row, middle row, and bottom row. This is where you do all your header construction. Currently, I have in the top row a menu on the left and social icons on the right. In my middle row, I have the logo on the left, another menu, a search option, and my WooCommerce card on the right. In the bottom row, there is no header elements, and because there isn't anything populating it, the row does not appear as part of the header. The elements for the header builder can be found on the left within the customizer sidebar under header elements. We have button, cart, logo, two menus, a search option, social icons, and HTML. You'll notice those currently used in the builder appear grayed out with a dashed border and a chevron arrow point to the right. This indicates that one, they've been used in the builder and two, when you click on them, it will take you into the settings for that specific header element. Let's click on logo and you'll see general and design options. We'll look at these a little more later on. Click back. The elements not yet used, in this case, the button and HTML elements will have a little move icon next to them. This will allow you to click and drag them into the header builder and place them where you want them to appear. Let's see how that works. But first, remove all the header elements currently in the header builder. Simply click on the X on each element. As you delete them, you'll notice each one becoming selectable again in the customizer's options. Also notice that once I remove all the elements in a specific row, in this case the top row, that the row also is removed from the header area in the main display. And once we've removed all the header elements from the builder, there isn't the header on the page anymore. Now we begin building our header. Grab the logo element and we place it somewhere in the middle row. We have three options, left, middle or right. Placing in the left will also align the element to the left if on the right, it is right aligned. Let's drop it in the middle. Bring in menu one, and just like before, we can place it on the left, on the right, or next to any element already placed. However, since we already have the logo element in the center, we have now additional options for the placement to its immediate left or right. You'll notice the two additional slots opening, and if you place the menu in either, it will align accordingly to whatever is in the center. With this method, you can build out a header with a center logo and broken menu system by adding menu 1 on the one side and menu 2 on the other side. Grab the menu 2 element and put that on the right of the logo to see how that will work. And of course, when you build out a header like this, you will set up your menus accordingly to make them balance and fit the layout. Okay, let's build the rest of the menu and move the elements around a bit. Before we look at styling of the elements and rows, notice on the left in the header options at the top where it says global header. Currently it is set to default. With this option, you can create up to three presets for your header. Look at how we changed it with secondary. And then centered. Selecting them respectively, you'll notice how the header changes and the header builder with elements at the bottom. These are presets and you can make changes and set each one the way you want. 
Let's put it back to default to use the menu we've just created. To style the rows, go to the main window and you'll notice a blue box appear around each row as you hover over it with your cursor. Go to the top left hand corner and click on edit. This will take you into the styling options for the particular row. As with all our settings in Bloxy, you can make changes here to your general options and to your design. If you make any changes and feel along the way you've messed up, just go to the setting you've changed and click on the reset icon next to it to restore it to its default. In Bloxy Free, we include premium features for you to style the rows and header, fully customizable borders, full control over the background by setting color, transparency of the color, a pattern, or an image, and you can even add a shadow. To style the next row, simply go back to the main display and click again on Edit for the row you want to make changes to. To access the styling options of elements, you have in total three ways to do so. The first is to click on the header element from within the header options in the Customizer sidebar. You can also click directly on the element within the builder. The third method is to go onto the main display and hover over the element. You'll notice a blue dialog icon with three dots appear. Click on it, and again, it will take you into the general and design controls for that specific header element. So far, we've only covered the header builder for desktop displays. At the bottom of the header builder, you'll notice the tab Mobile Header. The Mobile Header Builder is independent from the desktop header builder and affects both tablet and mobile displays. Here you have two parts to the builder. The area on the left affects the off-canvas drawer. You can place header elements in here and arrange and style them according to your site's look and feel. Hover over the off-canvas builder and click on the blue button off-canvas to access the settings for the drawer. Choose between modal or side panel. For side panel, you can also choose between left or right. Align the content inside the off-canvas drawer to left, center or right. Change the color for the background or add a shadow under design. The right area is where you build your pages header. Again, you can drag any of the header elements in to build it out and like with the desktop builder, you can build up to three rows with the same placing control of left, center and right. This amazing control makes Bloxy truly one of the most flexible themes on the market with dozens of premium features for free. Added to the standard header elements is the trigger element. Naturally, you'll need to place this in your header, otherwise the off-canvas drawer cannot be accessed. Also note that here our menu element is called Mobile Menu. This element is specific for mobile displays and can only be placed in the off-canvas area. For row styling, the same applies as for the desktop. Click Edit from the main display when hovering over the row. Elements are styled by either selecting them from the Options sidebar or by clicking on them in the header. While we are here, to make sure you can style the different rows and elements according to your liking for both desktop and mobile views, we've added responsive options giving you full control even over colors. In this case, our top row in the desktop header has a dark background with the social icons light. For our mobile display though, we place the socials element in our bottom row. But we run into a problem as the color of the icons do not contrast enough with the white background. Simply go to the socials elements design options and you'll notice that you can set different colors for the different displays. Let's set it to a darker color for both tablet and mobile. Problem solved. Switch back to the desktop header. If at any time you want to view the page in full mode, simply click on the Hide Builder option in the bottom right hand corner and to show it again, choose Show Builder. Let's review the header elements options. Button. The button can be set to fill or outline and three predetermined sizes, small, medium and large. Add the URL and change the text of the button at Label. The usual link option of open a new tab can be toggled on here and you can also add a hover effect. As mentioned earlier, you'll notice you'll have full responsive styling controls for the button from desktop to tablet to mobile. Cart. Choose the icon for your cart element, which page it will link to from your shop 
and whether to display the top level total. Below this, you have control over the icon size and options for the badge and card dropdown. The same design options for the card area is also available for the drop down card. Logo Choose between a text logo or an image logo. For mobile, you can set a different logo to fit the look and design of your mobile header better. Change the maximum height of the logo, assign the wrapper tag, and even add the site tagline if you want. Menu Assign the menu you want to the menu element from the Select Menu option. Under this, you've got some great top-level options for your menu. These control the selectors when hovering over the menu links. The default applies a color hover for the menu items. Type 2 displays a line under the link. If the line is too far away from the menu link, you can adjust the distance with the Items Height control. Let's set it to 50% and you'll notice the line is much closer to the menu item link. Type 3 gives you a background color for each menu item link. Note how we have set the hover active color for the menu item color to white. This allows for it to contrast nicely with the background color. And Type 4 applies a line at the top and bottom of the menu item. Use the items height option again to control the spacing between the indicators and the menu items. Add space between the menu items with item spacing or toggle the stretch menu if you want it stretch across the container. Below this are the controls for your drop down menu. Entrance animation apply subtle entrance effects to the drop down menu. The top offset controls the spacing between the drop down menu and the menu item link. If I increase it, notice the space between the main menu and the drop down menu increasing. And if we set it to negatives, how they move closer to each other. Remember, if you make changes and you don't like them, simply click on the reset option on the left to return to the default setting. Drop down width controls the width of the drop down area, and you can apply extra spacing between the menu elements with vertical spacing. For both the top level and drop down menu, you have separate design controls. Note that you have the option to set the items divider in the drop down menu by selecting the type of border and the color. This can give some separation between the drop down menu items. The options for menu 2 element are identical to menu 1's. Search The search element has control over the icon size as well as toggling on and off the live results. For the socials element, you can remove the ones you don't use and add the ones you do use. Simply select from the drop-down menu and click Add. To set their URLs, click here and set them. And when you've done, go back, scroll up and select the header. Additional controls for the socials element include sizing, spacing and icons color and type. Currently simple. Set to rounded or square. In all of these cases, you can make all the design changes to suit your website's look and style. The last header element is our HTML element. Enter the text you want, and then highlight, click on the link icon, and set your URL. For us, this is just the beginning of one of the most intuitive and feature-rich header builders on the market. There is no builder like this in any free WordPress theme and we are constantly refining and adding new features. We hope you love it as much as we treasure it.